folks, it's Old Chainsaw Bob, and I'm here to explore some of the mysteries of uh, uh, being a widower at almost 84 years old. And that's, you know, how to fix food and stuff and, and make things you like and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't fully uh, uh, discovered all the mysteries of, of learning how to cook things, you know, uh, with magazines like this and whatnot. Uh, maybe sooner or later I'll understand all that, but <clears throat> I'm not exactly starving to death while I'm waiting. But I saw something on the internet and I just decided I wanted to try it. Uh, it's a kind of an unusual sandwich, but I, I like unusual things. So let's just see what it is. So you got your, your Walmart uh, hot dog buns. We'll take one of those. And I have been assured that this probably won't poison me to make this. Maybe. And try to get the air out of the sack and twirl it back up here. And do all the things that my wife used to know how to do that I have no idea about. She's been gone about a year and two or three months now, something like that. She passed away. So we, we sort of pull the hot dog bun apart, as you can see there, and we put some ingredients in it. Yeah, yeah, that's what you think it is. Yeah. But I have been assured that this, more than likely, will not poison me. But if it does, I'm recording what happened to me. So you sort of measure it out here to see how it actually will fit in here. And cut off the excess. Uh, we'll eat that for dessert, I suppose. You put this together like this, and then you, uh, let's see if I can find the right tool over here. Uh, us old retired people, why well, we have to, we have to have, you know, lots of little helper tools. So we take this, we go over and we come up with Walmart peanut butter, all right? Because I'm sure people kind of like peanut butter and bananas. Some people do. I, I can't say that I have ever tried it before, but we, we spread this out on here. A nice heavy, heavy layer. this side then we take a little bit more and, and we spread it out on the other side because we have to have our nutrition you know so we do this and that's that's kind of looking pretty good but yeah it needs something else what does it need well, let's see if we put it together here like that it's still missing something or another ah I know what it's got to be strawberry jelly. So, let's just see what we can do here. Yeah, you got to learn how to squeeze these things and not make a mess. That's not always easy for us uh, old fellows. That ought to be enough to get me sick. So, and we'll kind of spread that out just a little bit. So we have a sort of a, of a hot dogish, strawberry, peanut butter, banana split, I guess is what you'd call it. And I guess I didn't prepare me something to drink beforehand. I should have, but I'll take a bite of it. And we'll see whether I choke up and die or not. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm. Looks downright, uh, yeah, uh, downright something other. Uh, maybe it's yummy. Okay, here we go. You know, I might open me a restaurant chain with these and compete with McDonald's and Wendy's and such. It was pretty good.
probably about, I would, I would guess it don't have any more than maybe four or 5,000 calories in it. So it's good for dieters like me. Mm. And I wanted to take a minute and uh, tell people that these things have changed some in my life. And there's a, a very nice lady that has come into my life. Uh, she lives a couple of hundred miles from, from me, so we don't really get to see each other much, but we talk on the phone several times a day, and it's, and it's very, very nice to have someone to talk to and uh, someone to care about and someone to laugh with. Uh, us old folks that lose our, our partners, she lost hers about 12 or 14 years ago, her husband. My wife, a uh, year, and oh, it was about 14 months ago, I guess, that I lost her. And uh, uh, it's a lonesome life for old folks. It really is. Her name is Jean, and I really appreciate her. So get a little excitement in your life. Eat something wild and weird. If you're an old folks like me and you're, and you're sad and lonesome, find somebody you can talk to. It's wonderful. And it improves, improves your life so much you just can't believe it. Old Shane Saw Bob. Thanks for listening to me.